It's one of the best fishing spots in the Territory. It's bloody good fishing. And this year is probably one of the better years, I reckon. With your kids, it's great fun taking them fishing and whatever you do, you know what I mean? Say so outdoor stuff, it's a great time of the year to be doing it. Everyone has a bit of fun, eh? When it comes to fishing, you've got to listen to Dad because he knows his stuff. Now you got your boots wet, have a cast over there. Look, walk over there a bit. Just in that bit of backwater there, you'll get one there straight away. You might get a crocodile there too. With the river still running fast, it's the best time to hook a barrel. There now! And to make things interesting, Milton is putting up some of his hard-earned cash for the great Coolie Bar Fishing Challenge. Oh, well, we just have a bit of a competition each year here who catches the biggest fish. 100 bucks, say, for the first prize, that's all. Then they usually got to shout it back in beer, so... <laughs> the field's open to family, workers and friends. And the race is on. Oh, well, I've got my lure. It's my favourite lure. I've got a lot of fish with this lure. And he'll only get the big ones. So any little ones sort of don't know not to come near him. Underneath that log, that's the spot. Most definitely, there'd be lots of cheating. I would say Milton would go down there 10 times and allow everyone else to go down there too. We kind of had one last year, and I caught the biggest fish, so nobody said anything about the winner. I don't think they wanted a girl to win. <laughs> He seems to think he's going to win it every year, but good news for him, eh? I'll cheat if I have to. <laughs> Milton always catches the biggest fish, whether it's that big or that big. It's always the biggest. I don't think I'll catch anything. I don't really like fishing, but... Fish off! Blew him again! Pretty good here. I think I could settle in for a while. Back at the homestead, a couple of grey nomads are just rolling in. Big fishing competition on here, and I'm the fellow here to knock it off. Wayne and his wife Janine are old family friends of the Joneses. Yeah, I've known Milton for a fair while. Since he was a big kid. He used to hang around with his hat pulled down over his ears and didn't say too much, but he'd done a lot of listening. That's why the man got on. After travelling 7,000 kilometres, they're stopping by to make some easy money. You had a rod before you left, and the first place you went to, you had to buy another one. You've got to have one. a special barrel rod to catch right barrel. Yeah. OK. Just make sure you catch it, and you win this competition, because we could do with a bit of money. Every little bit helps. <laughs> <laughs> getting money out of Milton would be like getting it out of a stone. Oh, well. <laughs> well, I've never caught a barrel before, so I've got to have a bit of practice on these locals. The first rule of fishing. Hang on to your rod. <laughs> Lee, we haven't got him yet, but we will. Wayne better get his act together, because the fish are biting. Yeah. That's a good fish, Tom. Beauty. What you got? Just a black rim. Chuck a back down. Yeah. A bit little. You know, it's going pretty good, but I haven't really started yet. Going to ease everyone into it, and then just bring it home. <laughs> We can, yeah. Paul. Yeah. That's my first barra. Wow. Wow. Put him up there. We'll get another one in a minute. Even the cook's getting some action. Put up here, you bastard. Ah, he snuck it. Still there. We're keeping him. It's a beauty. <laughs> I'll knock it off. I'll win it. Looks like Wayne's weighing in with a monster. I think he'll knock it off, this fella. I really do. He's a good barrow. And Milton hasn't even caught a cold. Yeah, Queensland is coming up here beating us. Hey, Steve. <laughs> you won't be able to lift ah, that big, bigger on, on there. What's it, Wade? It is a good fish, isn't it, eh? Eight kilo. <laughs> you b****, you got that in his mouth. I knew he wasn't that heavy. Look at the cheap Look at Yeah. He nearly got away with that too. He nearly got away with it. Well, come on, you got to fill up the now for cheap. That's it. Jesus, he is a good fish, isn't he, eh? Look, we're catching fish down here. The Cooler Bar Fishing Challenge is on. Now you have to be careful snapping real alligators. Yeah, we'll be going good in a minute. 
just got to get the rhythm right, you know. But the real challenge is beating Milton at his own game. One year he cut all the barbs off my lure when I was fishing because I was catching more fish than him. The competition's not over yet. But yeah, big fish. There is one person with enough local knowledge and rat cunning to beat the boss. Oh, I've just got a little spot. It's a fair ways from here. The water's crystal clear and there's a big waterfall drops into it. And you can sneak one helicopter down in there and catch whatever fish you want. Milton's chief pilot, Stephen Groves, is heading to his favourite spot to bring home the barra. You show Mr Jones a trick or two. Here we go. First cast, first fish. Well, he's only a small one, mate. There's some bigger f***s in there. Second cast, bigger fish. And then, well, it just gets silly. Oh, he's all right, he's not, he's not a monster. In just shy of 20 minutes, Groves pulls in six healthy specimens. It's not easy being this good. It was so long. But Groves' pain has hooked in the big one. I reckon he might have won the comp, this one. If he didn't, he'll be close to it. Yep. Just across the water, Janine's getting a little tired of watching Wayne fish all day. I know I know nothing, but I mean, I can always have my say, hey, what about that one? Try anything once. Yeah. Suddenly, she's got a real reason to pack it in. There's a taipan snake up here. Taipan! Black one, yellow belly. The taipan is only the second most venomous snake in the world but this is a really good fishing spot. I think the fish can wait. Wayne's got himself a dilemma. Where's Wayne? Is he coming? It's a taipan. Well, I know they're not good. Look, see him going up there, Wayne? Doesn't look like a tree snake to me. He's too long and skinny. Yeah, well, that's where you're a little carpet or something. Little python. Who wouldn't know? We've got a photo of it and we'll see what it is. Yeah, but if you keep away from them, they'll leave you alone. I'm, I'm certainly not going to go and pat him, that's for sure. Rock python, you reckon? We'll see what it says. We'll look up my snake. Board. What do you want? Go back and get the snake. <laughs> do your beer will be good tonight, Wayne. Yeah, a little rum in front of it. <laughs> yeah, he just knocked over. Jesus, that's made him heavy. Milton and Bo have finally had a catch. Not that big, but I think he'll win the comp. God. How big? What's that? Seven kilo. That's the heaviest one. Yeah, that's what it's good to No. Are you holding that weight? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> three kilos, is it? No, it's three, yeah, three kilo. Butcher's, butcher's pull. <laughs> three kilos? That's a baby compared to the competition. It's time to up the ante. I see a big bull shark there, about probably about two metre, just in a set of rapids. The bull sharks get in there and clean all the barra up, so what I do is get a buoy and a, a float and a big hook and a bit of fresh beef. And Be careful now when you put it out, make sure you don't get your hook around it. Drop it in there and the bull sharks usually grab it straight away. Oh, no, lower in there now. And then you pull the bull shark out. Sit and wait now. And that's classed as a fish. <laughs> when that shark hits it, it'll just go boof. And take it away and then we'll jump in the chopper and get the gaff and hook it up. If he's in there, we'll get him. That shark isn't biting. 